Hey everyone, so we're here at American General Donut Company. I think that's what it's called. So we're gonna get a donut. They're like a gourmet donut place. Here's Emily. And uh, we're gonna go check out what they have. They're, so they're more of a, you know, gourmet. They make like specialty donuts, I think. I've been in here one time and it's pretty cool because they uh, have cartoons on uh, the entire time that they're open. So that's cool. Like if you have kids, you can come here and just watch cartoons and stuff. So, and I know that's pretty common. When I've come here, it's always just been a bunch of like families watching cartoons and eating donuts and stuff. So I think they're gonna be really fun, really cool to see what's inside. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go now, bye. There's a purple rooster. Hey everyone, so we're uh, sitting in the car outside of General American Donut Company. Here's the packaging. And uh, we got some really good donuts. So uh, here's Emily's first. She got a sprinkle donut and it looks amazing and it's soft and awesome. And? Oh, and she also got a blueberry cake, blueberry cake donut. Yeah, I think that looks awesome. Uh, I We got two donuts because uh, I was nervous they were going to be stale. Because I, I went here one time and they were kind of hard. But this time, they're absolutely amazing. They're soft. They're perfect. This is a coffee and cream donut. And then I just got a glazed donut. So, it still looks amazing though. They, they taste awesome. Uh, it's This is... It's just perfect. This is exactly what I want in a donut. So that's that's all I got to say about that. Better than Jack's. You think it's better than Jack's? I'm asking you. Um, okay, so is it better than Jack's? Uh, you know, it's different. So Jack's Donuts is a... Well, let me make sure everyone can hear me. Ooh. So Jack's Donuts is a local Indiana donut place and they're very good I would say if you go to the one if you go to one that's in a smaller town not in Indy it's going to probably be amazing but uh, the customer service in downtown Indy is a nightmare like they're they are literally mean so I just don't like going in there so and yeah they're just it's weird but I mean it's better this is better okay I prefer to go to General's uh, in downtown Indy because the customer service is super nice. Like the ladies in there or the guy who runs it or whoever, they're super nice. And it's a very inviting atmosphere. So, yeah. that's I think it's better in downtown Indy. I think they're probably... This is probably the best donut shop in downtown Indy. So, yeah. That's what, that's what I've got to say about that. It, and it's a very... They're custom donuts. So they got like hibiscus. They got... You might have seen it in the video that I just shown. I don't know if I sh uh, showed you all the donuts, but they got like different flavors. So, yeah. That's all. Okay. I wonder why no one parks up here. Yeah, also we parked up, you know, beside the store, in I think, lot. in the parking lot because, it, you know, it just looked easier. But now that I'm up here, I'm like, oh, this isn't paved. I mean, not paved. I did that last time too. This isn't plowed. So, 
Um, good luck. Yeah, good luck to me. There's no so so it's like a lot of snow. It's probably, I mean, there's still in parts of the this area is like six inches or seven inches of snow in the driveway. So, yep, I think it will be good. Oh, also, uh, someone asked, um, how was the brownie that we had from Amelia's? The dark uh, brownie. Okay, here's the deal. The brownie was very good. Um, it's so Amelia's is a bakery shop and they sell these uh, essentially these black cocoa brownies they're called black cocoa because they use well black cocoa and black cocoa is a smoother from my opinion I don't really know if this is true it's smoother and um, it doesn't have an acidic taste to it I don't know if I can explain that Does, okay do you okay what I'm saying is you know like when you get a brownie mix and you maybe make fudgy brownies and then in the back of your throat you can kind of feel a burn of a brownie is that just me no (laughs) okay maybe i'm just like crazy but i like the burn it's like the it's like the chocolate is acidic the cocoa they use is acidic i promise i promise i'm not crazy okay so it's you know a good example would be hershey's a hershey bar is like so I'm looking at these people walking around. That looks like uh, one of our friend's brothers. Um, uh, so look, a, a Hershey's bar, a milk chocolate Hershey bar, it burns sometimes when you eat it in the back of your throat because the chocolate is, well, because uh, many reasons. All that say, the brownie was amazing. It was amazing. It uh, definitely tasted gourmet. Very and, dark. What? Very dark. It was dark, dark it was very tasting. dark chocolate tasting, but I really don't know if it. I didn't feel like it tasted that dark. It I think it just appeared dark because, yeah, but it was good. I recommend it. It was vanilla y chocolatey awesomeness. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go home now. We're gonna enjoy these donuts, and uh, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna drink. Oh, I also got coffee, and it smells amazing. Oh, yesterday at the store. So here's the deal. I wasn't going to go get a donut today uh, because I went to Walmart. And um, also, I went to Walmart in Greenfield, Indiana. I'm calling them out, okay? No one was wearing a mask. I'm like, what is happening, okay? I don't understand. Also, this dude is trying to, trying to back out and having issues. Yeah, so we were in there, not not no one, but I saw, we. I'm not exaggerating when I say I probably saw 15 people without a mask. And I'm like, what is happening? So anyways, went to Walmart and I saw like Krispy Kreme is being sold in the freezer section. What an interesting marketing grocery store uh, trying to get sales up situation, you know? Like I found that really interesting. Um, but we bought, okay, we kn- we don't normally ever buy Krispy Kreme stuff, but we bought the Krispy Kreme donut holes to try, but then we, I didn't try them. So maybe I'll try them in another video. And I also bought a coffee Coke. I mainly, okay, I don't think I'm really going to like it, but I mainly bought it just because of the, you know, it's something interesting. There's no way this is going to be around for a long time. So, but yeah, that's what we did. So, okay, we're going to go now. I'm going to try to get out of this parking lot. There's... A, a lady and her okay if this little toyota corolla can get out i think this uh car suv can get out so we i hope so okay i'll talk to you later see you in just a little bit bye so emily and i are going on a walk through lockerbie and here's what lockerbie looks like right now it's very pretty can see some of the snow I wanted to come down here earlier but I just never got a chance so yeah it's just been way too cold but today today it seems you know very nice so yeah some people still have their Christmas stuff up which is fine oh my gosh I love those uh, lamps right there. Christmas time.
What? Oh, no way. This giant house is for sale. Dang. What? So this is the biggest house in Lockerbie Square, I think. I think it is. One of them. One, at least one of them. I'm going to guess maybe 2.3. Really? I don't know. 1.3? I have no idea. I'm going to say 1.5. Emily is guessing this house will be 1.5. Wow. It's a very pretty house. So here is uh, the Cobble Street Road in Lockerbie. And there's the house that's for sale. Then you got all these smaller houses, which are very nice as well. Got this house. This house did a lot of, well, maybe not this house did remodeling. Maybe they did. I don't know. Got that house. Very uh, interesting. But as you can see, it's Cobble Street. So that might, this house right here might be the biggest house in Lockerbie. So that's a pretty big house. And you can see, you know, the skyscrapers right here. And then you got the James Whitcomb Riley house. Is it Whitcomb? Whitcomb. Which is kind of like a museum now, but they've been closed since, I don't know. I think they've been closed probably since March. So, never been to it, but I hope to someday. There's Emily. Right here, there's normally a lot of uh, greenery, whatever, this ivy stuff. And in the summer, uh, this whole area will be light up. Uh, it will light up with fireflies, lightning bugs. Very pretty, very pretty. That's at the James Whitcomb Riley house. This, uh, I mean, I've said this probably like a million times, but this road is where everyone takes pictures, especially in the fall and spring. We're going to go back now. We'll see you in just a second. Bye. So I'm here at Costco and uh, it's very busy. I was going to get gas here, but the line stresses me out. So I probably won't get it here. I'll just go to a regular gas station. Um, it's crazy. On the weekends, it's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, I just, I'm not, I'm not going to get it here. But um, yeah, so I'm here at Costco. I'm going to walk around, get out of the house, uh, get some groceries that I want, get some, uh, maybe some veggies and meat here. I went to Walmart yesterday, but I didn't get exactly what I wanted. So this is a good place to get it at so i'm going here gonna go walk around see what's up you know i'm looking at this person who bought a uh, giant tv look at that so interesting and that's about all also i just want to mention i have these uh weather tech floor mats in my car they're awesome i've had them we've had them for about a year now and um my like my dad always loved them they they sold them at his dealership i guess there was a partnership with them so uh ever since you know when you live in the midwest you get salt and snow all over your boots the weather tech uh mats for your car are just so nice so we have them up front i don't have them in the back seat because well no one ever sits back there and i have a for i have a weather tech one for the trunk so they're very nice. I highly recommend them. Even if you just get the ones uh, like at Costco or Walmart, they're just they're just nice. So the ones I got, I think I got it off eBay or maybe WeatherTech's website. So yeah, very nice, very cool. I really like it. Have you seen the WeatherTech uh, cup holder, phone holder? Those are nice too. I mean, I, I know other brands sell them. At least I think WeatherTech had a patent on it, had a patent on it and now uh, other brands just started selling it. So very interesting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going inside and I'll see you in just a second. Bye. Hey everyone. So I'm here in the kitchen and I'm going to show you 
my sourdough starter, just an update. It's looking very bubbly. It smells, it's starting to smell like sourdough. Like it smells sour kind of, it has that tang to it. So I'm gonna show that to you. I don't think I'm gonna feed it today. I'll feed it tomorrow. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I think it's pretty active. Maybe I will feed it today. I don't know. I might, if I do feed it, I'm just gonna feed it a little bit and uh, maybe like 30 grams of flour, 30 grams of water. So, and then from there, tomorrow, I might give it a full dose, 120 grams of flour, 120 grams of water. So, okay, here is the sourdough starter. So as you can see, it's pretty active. I feel like it's active. It's a little, it's very bubbly. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. So that's what it looks like right now. And I might feed it before I go to bed. So look at all those bubbles though. There you go. And that's just flour and water. Well, that's all for today. Here is the starter, what it looks like on the outside. And uh, that's everything. So I hope you all have a great week ahead of you. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend if you watch this later tonight. Um, and I will talk to you later. I think Emily and I are gonna have some tilapia and sweet potatoes and maybe some broccoli. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut up some sweet potatoes and we'll roast them. And that's all we're doing the rest of today. So we'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. If no one's told you this, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. See you tomorrow, bye.